Uh, I'm finished now shooting, and I've uh, done all of my basic edits here. Uh, here's my timeline. You can see I'm working in the new Camtasia 9, and it does look pretty, pretty slick. I have enjoyed working in Camtasia 9. Um, so really quickly, let's compare my timeline here with the timeline, my timeline sketch that I had uh, sketched out a long time ago. So here's the beginning of the, the, the video. Quite a bit. It's going to be a little bit jumpy. But here's the beginning of my video, and then here's two callouts that'll bring me to two different places on my timeline. One video, and then here's four callouts. Another video, four callouts. Another video, four callouts, and then a little closer. So if we bring up my uh, timeline sketch, we had that intro with two callouts. A video with four callouts, another video with four callouts, another video with four callouts, and then an outro or ending. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create uh, markers for these buttons to link to. So I'll want a marker at the beginning of this video where there's a circled T, a marker at the beginning here, the circle C, a circle S, and a circle E. So I'm going to need to put down four markers at the very beginning of these four sections. So I'll come to the beginning here, the very beginning. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make sure I'm at that beginning. Now I've got a few options. I'll go ahead and pull down the marker track here. So now you can see that there's a marker. And wherever I place this on the timeline, I'm going to get a marker. Now this one I don't intend to move or anything, so I will put this marker right here on my general timeline. However, when I come to my next one, I am thinking that it may move around. Um, I may continue to edit and move this around. So when I come to place the marker, I'm actually going to place it on the video clip itself so that if I move that video clip, the marker will stay with it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it easier to make sure that I'm right at the beginning of this. There we go. And there's a marker. And I'll do the same thing with the other two. <clears throat> all right, so now that I've got all four of my markers at the beginning of these video segments, I'm going to go ahead and rename them so that they match what I had in my sketch. And that'll be up here in the properties section. So this one is going to be templates. This one is going to be custom. This one is Andrew. And this last one we'll call ending. All right, great. So now that I have those markers in place, all I have to do is go through each of these callouts and make sure to link them to one of these markers. So I'll come to this very first one. And here we can see two callouts, one that goes to custom development and one that goes to e-learning templates. So I'll click on the custom development. And uh, unlike Camtasia 8, there's not automatically a hotspot option over here in the regular properties. We'll come over to visual effects and we'll go to interactive hotspot. And I'm just going to drag that onto this custom development button. Now it's going to bring me to this point in uh, in the properties of that callout. I'll scroll down to the interactive hotspot. I would like it to pause at the end. I don't want it to go to a URL. I want it to go to a marker. And since this is the custom development one, I'll have it go to the marker called custom. So now I just do that again for the e-learning template. So I'll drag my interactive hotspot to the e-learning templates callout. Scroll down the interactive hotspot, pause at the end, yes, marker, I want it to go to templates. Um, now I can repeat and do that for all of my callouts and it's going to bring me to each segment of this timeline. And it'll make it a, a, a fully interactive choose your own adventure video. Um, this is really rewarding when, you, when you've put a lot of work into a video and now you're seeing it on the timeline. 
and you're able to push play and watch the video and see how close you got to your original vision. It's even more exciting when these buttons start to work and you can bounce around and be interactive. Camtasia is just really fun that way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and you'll be seeing the finished video soon. Thanks.